Hey kids, it's Pastor Dan here, and I have a question for you. I am wondering what your favorite color is. Can you tell me? Shout it out, out loud. Mm. I couldn't really hear you. Maybe your mom and dad could, could send me an email or a text message with your favorite color because I would love to get to know that about you. In fact, I love getting to know about you. I can tell you my favorite color. My favorite color is green. The, the kind of green that's in this picture. I love that kind of green that is in the forest and uh, towards the end of spring when it's just oh, so beautiful. That's one of my favorite pictures. I wish I could say that I took that picture, but I didn't. Now you know a little bit more about me, that that's my favorite color. And maybe if your parents send you some information, uh, like send me what your favorite color is, then I'll get to know what that is. And then I'll know a little bit more about you. Does everybody know your favorite color? No, no. I mean, maybe, maybe lots, maybe your parents, maybe your friends, maybe um, your brothers or sisters, they know your favorite color, your grandma and grandpa and stuff like this. But there are lots and lots and lots of people in this world who don't know your favorite color. In fact, there are lots and lots of people in this world who don't know anything about you at all. But there is one person who knows everything about you, everything there is to know, and that is God. The Bible tells us that God knew us, knew you, before you were even born. That before God created the world, God knew you. And you know what? God loves you. God saw every little detail about you. In fact, it was God who put all the pieces of you together right back in the very beginning of your life because he loves you and he treasures you. He knows not only your favorite color, but he knows your favorite subject in school, and he knows what you're going to do with your life when you grow up, and he knows all the mistakes you're going to make, and all the bad things you're going to do, and all the good things you're going to do, and he knows everything about you. He even knows all, he knows what number of hairs you have on your head. Now, for me, that's maybe a little bit easier for God to count than for some of you. But nonetheless, God knows it. And he loves you. Boys and girls, this is what you need to know from today's children's message. And the biggest thing we're going to talk about as adults, too, during the sermon is that God knows you. God knows every little part of you, and he loves you. Never forget that. This is something my father-in-law said to me a long time ago. He said, Dan, and this is true for you too, he says, there is nothing you can do that would make God love you any more, and there is nothing you can do that will make God love you any less. He just loves you. Boys and girls, whether you do bad things or whether you do good things, God will always love you. Whether you are smart or whether you are creative, or whether you are angry, or happy, or sad, God will always love you. He won't always be happy with what you've done, but he will always love you. 
So never forget that. God knows you and he loves you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for these boys and girls. Lord, please help them to grow up and never, ever forget that you know them and you love them. Help them to want to walk with you all of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.